Well, I'd like to thank you all for coming. I appreciate you turning out for this wonderful event for the 12th Annual Lander Film Festival. And um, thank, thank the, the folks, folks online, online for joining, joining us online, online through Facebook. Facebook. And, and also through the website. And we appreciate the fact that, uh, you know, it's a wonderful Saturday, having a good time. And uh, it's kind of a new day because of COVID. And so we appreciate all the flexibility of our teams and then our sponsors as well. Um, We'll go ahead and start the festival off with uh, this little thing right here. Darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Evil reaches from the crypt to crush you in its icy grip. sponsors Pro-Am USA. They've provided all of the prize packs and um, have been a tremendous supporter, not just this year, but in years past for all of our um, endeavors with the film festival. And so we'd just like to recognize and thank them for that. Um, this year, normally we don't screen all of the entrants and we figured this year we'd like to give them an opportunity to do that. And so we start, um, we'll start by screening the young filmmakers and um, followed by the college division, and then followed by the open division. And it will probably take, uh, we will take a, a, a short break in between each um, categories and each divisions so that you can take a minute. Um, it's about 30 minutes and about 15 minutes for the high school, excuse me, about 30 minutes for the high school and young filmmakers division, about 15 minutes for the college division and about 20 minutes for the open division. So uh, without any uh, further, we'll go ahead and roll the young filmmakers division. Thank you.
Isabel, wake up. Isabel, please, what happened? Isabel, you can tell me. No, don't touch it. You're gonna get that stuff all over your hands. It's been almost a month since they started appearing. They're not widespread, yet anyways. Those on various conspiracy forums call them cryptids due to their various abilities. From my research, they get these abilities from a parasite. The same was for me. It burrowed into my hand, and now when I touch things with it, I essentially take their energy. One night, one attacked me. They had teeth like a dog. Though when I grabbed their face with my hand, they screamed in pain and ran, their face almost limp. Now I'm in a house that has another cryptid that I've been observing. It should be coming. He's a serial killer, and I track down his pattern. He targets houses with one person in them and kills them. He kills in almost a zigzag pattern. He should be checking this house today. Oh, he's here earlier than expected. hot candle wax. Don't touch it, you might get that stuff all over you. <laughs> so, his power, his teleportation. What was that? Oh well, I have to finish him now. I think you're done for. Hello, police. Yes, there's a man currently in this house right here. Just gonna win. It's just a haunted house. No, there's there's no way I'm going in there. He's too scared. 
Why don't you do it then? You're the one who's supposed to do it. No, I'm, I'm not going in there. All right. How about we play What Are the Odds? Okay, fine. But one time. One time. One time. All right. One, two, three, five. You lost. Now you have to go inside. You know what? Go in with him, Ralph. Yeah, why don't you go in with me? <sighs> okay. I'll go in with you. All right, fine. I guess we're both going in then. All right. Let's go. Ralph, come here! Look, we finally made it. It's our masterpiece. What? What is this? Come on, Ralph, you know what it is. It's our masterpiece. The memory fixer, smarter elixir. Wow, that's amazing. Don't touch that. It'll get all over your hands. No, I'm not gonna waste the elixir on you. This place is creepy. Yeah, what is all this stuff? I wonder who used to live here. I don't know, but this place is in strangely good condition. That's what I was thinking. Look at this. Look at these. Don't touch those. I mean, we probably shouldn't touch those. You know, I, I, we don't know whose it is. What? You scared they're gonna come and get you with them? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know, man. What were you saying, man? This freaks me out. What? The candles. And the scissors. What's going on? This Dude, there's somebody here with us. This isn't... This isn't right. I uh, don't. You gotta go warn Jack. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go try to find these scissors, dude. Okay. I'll let him know. Jack's dead. Jack's in the garage, and he is dead. We gotta get out of here. Listen, you have to calm down. Okay, we need to stay here and find the killer. Are you kidding me? What's got, what's got into you, man? This is you, wasn't it? <laughs> this is part of your plan, isn't it? Hey, listen.
How do you feel? Tired, my love. You're cold. That's good. Here, bite down on this. I'm almost done, Rachel. Don't touch it, you might get that stuff all over your hands. How's the leg? It's healed. Well, it's what I did. Rachel, don't worry, it's nothing to... No, you may be immune to our bites, but you're still human. I could have killed you. to fix this, Rachel. I promise. Pops? Whoa, whoa, uh. What are you working on? Nothing. Can I see it? No, no, no. Just, no. just a little bit? I'm not finished. Okay, but you can show me just a little bit. No, I have to be finished. Why not? Why not just a little bit? Because I need to be finished. I'm not done. You have to Please go. Please wait, but I... I'll show you when I'm finished. I can't wait to show you what I've been working on. I hope to make you the happiest. Hello. Did you draw this? Really? Yeah. It's beautiful. You drew this? Yes. Wow, this is good. See what you've been working on? Yeah, I'll show you, but you have to promise not to mess anything up. I promise. How enchanting. Don't touch it! You might get that stuff all over your hands. You're so unintelligent, such a foolish little girl. What is wrong with you? 
I'm sorry. Leave. Leave. I thought you'd do this for me. Leave. Guess I was sadly mistaken. Bye, father. <sighs> Finally, I can work in peace. Yes! I'm the most intelligent human being on the face of this earth. Wait here, I have somebody for you. Are you alive? Here, come with me. See why we need it. It's in the middle of the day. Because I spent my hard-earned money on it, and I tend to use it. Plus, it's lemon scented. It's twenty cents. You probably got it at some gas station. I smell some pretty good gas station bathrooms. Oh, hey, did you guys get your plane tickets? Uh, yeah, I got them right here. Michael. Yeah, look, I really do want to go. Oh, come on, not again. Dude, I really hate traveling. Dude, you're scared of everything. <laughs> I'm not scared. It's just uncomfortable. Okay, remember the time when we went down to the Grand Canyon? And he was like shivering in his seat the whole time. He was preparing for death every time the plane shook. He was so pale that like the sun would bounce directly off of him from the window. Like, it, it was the funniest thing in the world. Dang, that trip was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Can we move this candle? It's really giving me a headache. For real, it smells like somebody drank bleach and threw it up. Well, hey, yeah. kinda. It's melting all over the table. Hey, don't touch it. You might get that stuff all over you. Well, if I don't move it, that stuff will get all over the table. <clears throat> ow! Ow! Oh, yikes, you might want to go run some cold water over it or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Poor guy, I hope he doesn't get scared of the dark on his way over there. <laughs> Dude, you got a weird looking face. <laughs> this thing really stinks, bro. I'm blowing it out.
probably gonna kill you, but he's probably in. Oh my god! What the ah. frick? Oh my god! What? Michael, Michael, please, Michael, 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 Michael remember, remember, remember the trip? Michael, we're, we're free, we're, we're, Michael, I'm Detective Wilson from the Sheriff's Department. We got complaints of noise last night. Do you mind telling me what happened? Dude, they're all gone! What? They're all gone! Just calm down. It's gonna be okay. Okay, I'm gonna need you to walk with me in the house. Okay. I will. Oh. Dude, he was, I swear my friend was right here, man. I'm telling you, he was here. Are you sure you didn't have a bad dream last night? I'm Are you sure, sure that's really happened? I'm sure, dude. Detective, I'm telling you, the body was right there, man. I can tell you exactly what happened. Okay, okay, start from the beginning. Start from the very beginning. Well, there was there was four of us. We, we were coming after a Friday night game, and, and we were walking in here. And before we knew it, there was a crazy axe killer. Being such a dweeb! God! Okay. I'm gonna go this way. Tug! Yeah. There ain't no way you're leaving me with this. I'm. Dude, it's like a couple of minutes, and plus he's scared anyway, and you seem to be like you're all Mr. Tough Guy, you've been here so long, so maybe he should go with you for a little bit. Alright, sorry. Where's the kitchen? Always looking for some food. Dude, we could camp here a couple nights, y'all. Dude, you know the switch don't work, right? Oh, oh, hard. Yeah. Dude, don't be so hard on them. Where'd Did you get the candle? candle? Found it, bro. How'd you light it? Matches, dumbass. Oh. <laughs> Word. You see the game? Yeah, a little bit. I know you saw that cheerleader I was talking to. Wait, did you hear that? What was that? I know you heard that. Dude, it was probably just Tony messing with his car. Are you sure? We should probably check just to make sure, right? <sighs> Alright. Okay. <gasps> Wait, don't touch it or you get it all over your hands. I don't care, he's dying! Right. We gotta go, dude. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Dude, we need to get out of here, man. Oh. Maybe we can get out this way. Yo, we gotta go now, dude, now! Window, window! window. window. Are you serious? Wait on you at this time! After all we've been through, you shouldn't have even came out. That's why I've never liked you.
wasn't lying after all. So uh, thank you all for joining us and thank you for uh, coming in. Um, a couple of things that I feel like I left out in the introduction of these films is that in this competition, each division was given the challenge of uh, the genre of creating a film five minutes or less with the inspiration of a classic monster movie. And that can be uh, interpreted as the director sees fit, whether it's a classic monster or it's a tone or it's a cinematography style. And so represented on screen is interpretations of classic monster movies, um, because it was Halloween inspired, obviously. Um, the other parameter was that they had to use a prop in conjunction with a line in that, uh, if you've been paying attention, it's a candle or a candlestick in terms of, again, interpretation. And the line was, don't touch that, you'll get that all over your hands. So as you screen these films and see the uh, similarities throughout all of them, you'll notice that they do carry uh, uh, those elements which were requirements of the film and uh, one of the pieces by which they were judged. Um, we'll take a short break and then we will start screening the college division. Thank you.
Well, thank you all, and I know it's kind of just a little bit of mingling going on. Um, we're trying to go by the schedule that was published online for our viewers at home. Um, however, I do want to make a note that online it does say that we're going to be a, um, we're going to do our open division at 4:45. But for the sake of time, we're going to go ahead and play our open division right after our college division, uh, just to expedite things a little bit because I'm sure you've got all the time in the world um, to just hang around. Um, I will say that after the open division, we will be doing our award ceremony where we announce our winners of each contest and each division, um, as well as our unique and special awards. So um, with that, I'll turn it over to the college division. Thank you. Probably that's you, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Hard to believe I'm graduating in a few months. You know what you're doing afterwards? I'm still thinking about it. But man, does time fly by fast. Yeah, I mean, we both like been in school together for like since an entire decade. Like, are we still gonna see you? Don't worry, man. I'm not gonna forget about my old friends. Talking about old things, do you want to go pawn that arrowhead we found? Time's arrow marches on. He's coming, you know. I'd ask for help. But I know there's nothing you can do. I saw the TikTok man. There's no avoiding him. It'll inch ever closer and closer. And then, the time will come. So... How much can we get for that arrowhead, though? I'll give you 20 for it. Happen? No, what? Dude, that old guy from the pawn shop, the guy who's talking all crazy, he died last night. That's kind of awful. I know, but like, I mean... Ah, I think... They'll make, um, laces that will stay together. You know, I've always wanted to go down there. What, a grate? I mean... It's a lot messier than a pothole, but it's easier to get down in the pothole. Yeah, I just want to ooze down there. Like, do you ever wonder how much your skeleton really holds you back? What? I mean, yeah, it supports your body structure and whatnot, but think of all the things you could accomplish without it. It's, your skeleton's been with you through thick and thin so long, but you have to sit and think and wonder. How much farther can I go without it? Listen, what the hell are you talking about? Did you know the older gentleman that worked here? Yeah, that was my grandfather. I'm so sorry to hear that. Do you know what he was referring to when he was talking about the TikTok man, though? Yeah. Best hope you never see him. What should someone do in the event that they do see the TikTok man? Well, that's easy. How do you stop the passage of time? You, you can. Hey man, where well, were you? Just walking around. Monsters. Is that some kind of joke? No. You've got this candlestick. Lots of monsters scared of fire right here. Wait, don't touch it. You might get that stuff all over your hands. What? Sorry, I've been known to have premonitions. I'll take the candlestick. Hey 
Vince. Sorry to hear that you're moving away. I know we'll find some way to keep in touch. This is for you when you get scared, Vincent. Remember, I'm always here to protect you. Would Vincent Mason please walk the stage? So, let's just jump right in. What brings y'all to me today? Well, see, I got gotten off work early. I work all day most days and wasn't supposed to come home for another couple hours, but I got home early. He loves steak, but I ain't much of a chef, so I just picked up a little something. I figured we could celebrate a night together. We had one in a long while. It would have been fine until... It's okay. You're in a safe space. Not until I found that lipstick on the wine glass! Now, I ain't worn a shade of gum since I was about 13 years old. And sure as heck wasn't wearing any around the house. So I went to get the son of a gun a piece of my mind. Linda? I thought you already left. Linda, huh? I'm assuming this was just before you called? There were some hours in between. I wasn't about to let that steak go cold. I spent good money on it. Oh no, we couldn't have that, could we? So can you help us? Oh gosh, I don't know how we ended up here. We used to be happy. I promise you, happy as can be. Well, sometimes these things happen. Cheating, nasty divorce, even your regular messy breakup. Messier in some cases. <laughs> but yes, I can help you. Most couple counselors are in the love business. I'm in the business of heartbreak. Nobody puts baby in a corner. <laughs> and then what she do? She flipped the whole board. 
a whole hour of Trivial Pursuit gone. Just like that. What the? Hey, don't touch that. Hey! Got something to smoke or not? <laughs> That's why Nancy Reagan is a tit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where are you off to? Got fish. With your bottle? I care about the environment. I hope you grab the right bottle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you pass me one of those? Hey, sure, man. Did you hear that? What's going on? Kenny? Kenny! just happened. We gotta get out of here. Why did my ears do that? Yours too? We gotta go back. Nope. I'm out. Look, if someone sees Kenny's body, we're done. Pin it on us. We're in deep shit, man. Kenny's dead. All right, all right. Go get his body. Hey, Kendall. Perfect. We use this down there. Let's go. Gotta make it quick. All right. Here's what's gonna happen. Danny, listen to me. Sorry. What did you say? This is what's gonna happen. You hold the candle, I'll get the body. Okay? Got it. Don't touch it. You might get that stuff all over your hands.
Doesn't look like I left too much in here either. Well, if we ever get unpacked, you can turn this into your man cave. Shoot, my phone died. Babe, give me yours. Uh, what's inside? I'll go grab it. And leave me here alone? No, I think I saw a candlestick around here somewhere. Oh, here's one. I think I have a lighter. Perfect. 
Crendel. If all goes according to plan, Shelly will live again. <laughs> Stop that. And now, the Death Shroud. The, the, do you have... Grendel! Don't touch it. You might get that stuff all over your hands. Do you know what to do? Good man. From the beginning, mortality has haunted man's soul, but now we hold in our grasp the tools to defy our own transience. Tonight, we will deny nature her cold grasp on our fate. Are you ready? Yes, master. Then on my command, three, two, one, do it! Good, Grendel. See if you can fix those lights. Yes, Master. That's no cat. Nothing? Get Shelly off the table. Sorry, honey, we were just playing. This is Dr. Jekyll. Ah, oh, Henry. I hope I haven't caught you at a bad time. <laughs> no, sir. Not a bad time at all. How are you adjusting to your time at home? Uh, you know me, sir. I find myself more comfortable between microscopes and vials than I do among family. <laughs> I don't know if I can say the same. I look forward to returning to work soon, sir. Well, that's good to hear. While I've got you on the phone, have you heard from Denver's recently? Uh, no, sir. I... last I heard, he was on vacation. Interesting. With his wife. Well, the reason I ask is because the vials from the lab have gone missing. Uh, really, I wouldn't know anything about that. I caution you just as did the others. Caution me, sir? That mixture is highly volatile. I beg you, if you do have it, don't touch it. You might get that stuff all over your hands, and who knows what would happen. Well, I can assure you, sir, I don't have it. Did you drop something? Uh, sir, let me call you right back. What have, uh, Henry, what have you done, Henry?
Hello, Henry. Come, take a seat. <laughs> who, who are you? I go by many names. But as far as who I am, I'm you. You're me? But I'm me. How is that possible? I'm every bad day you've ever had. Terrible nightmare, every horrible thought lurking, sitting there inside that skull of yours. I, 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 don't, I don't understand. Then start understanding. Or haven't you noticed yet? Noticed? Noticed what? It appears you're. Wasting. Wasting away, if you will. Stop. No. Don't put it out. What will I do? You didn't really think that would work, did you? After all, nothing happens when you blow the candle out. Then what's the point? Who says there is one? If, if you haven't tried to kill me yet, and I have time to beg for my life, then sh shouldn't I? And who's to say I'd let you live? <laughs> what do you have to live for, anyway? My life is worth living. Please. All you do is sit at a desk every day. You think that's living? Fine. What do you mean, fine? You said I couldn't stop you. I've been doing this since the dawn of time. Since before man existed. I was the whisper in Cain's ear as he murdered his brother Abel. I was the one who pulled the trigger behind JFK. What makes you think you can sway? You couldn't even convince me if you tried. There's nothing else. You need balance. You need something on the other side. It's just too bad I don't give a damn. thank all the teams, the filmmakers, and just kind of talk for a half second. It is incredibly hard to conceive and execute shooting film um, in a two week period. And that's the challenge of this, uh, this uh, competition. And uh, ranging from you know, people who buy themselves to teams of four, five, six, um, we want to inspire and encourage all kinds of filmmaking. And so that's really what this competition is about. That's what our program here is about in terms of an inspiration. And, um, you know, we, we want to applaud and encourage all kinds at every level. And there's always room for improvement. There's always room for enjoyment. And uh, we just thank you, all the teams, for doing what you've done today. So thank you very much. Um, so, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll move forward into the uh, um, awards portion of this. Uh, once again, I do want to thank our sponsors because um, Pro-Am has been um, a good ally to us um, for several years and so um, we just, we want to give them, um, you know, just recognition for supporting us and supporting these filmmakers who are um, out there shooting. So. Um, in these categories, um, the young that will have division uh, runner-up and winners, and um, once again, um, 
we thank Pro-Am because they're the ones who are supplying all of these really fun tools that uh, we'll get to put in the hands of these filmmakers. Um, the, these prize packs will be drop shipped to the winners. Um, we don't have them on site due to uh, uh, well COVID and also to some regulations that we follow as well. But um, for our young filmmaker runner-up division, they will be getting um, this autopilot, which is a steady, uh, steady stabilization unit. And um, so that's a pretty cool thing. Um, so hopefully they can include that into their films next year. Um, and so for runner-up, um, the winner is The Darkest Light. So congratulations to them. Um, for our division winner, they will receive a boom and a tripod and fluid head to continue their craft as well. And the winner for the Young Filmmakers Division is Escape or Die. In the college, In the division, college division, um, the prize, the is, prize going is going to be a car mount. Um, um, this was determined, was determined to, be to be the most appropriate um, for the college for division. The division. And so, and so um, the runner-up runner for the college for the division, college division is, is rupture. rupture. The college, um, the college division winner, winner will, will receive, receive an autopilot, an autopilot a, tripod, a tripod and fluid, fluid head, head, a boom, a boom mic, mic, and the uh, car rig as well um, to incorporate into their next projects moving forward. And the college division winner is Business of Heartbreak. Um, in the open division, the runner-up also gets a uh, car mount just because we feel like these are fun toys to have. Um, and the runner-up is Hair the Dog. And the open division winner will receive an autopilot, a tripod with a fluid head, a boom, and also a six-foot jib for their pursuits. And the winner is a walk in the park. Now the, um, it should be mentioned that there were five, um, there were five judges. Three of them were professional filmmakers. Two of them were um, media personnel from within the community. And so we wanted to strike a balance between both professional and um, general audience to try and give a fair balance of the judging of these. Um, the judging was based off of creativity, originality, um, use of the line and the prop, as well as production quality. Um, and those scoring metrics uh, can be made available to you all, um, as well as the notes will be issued back to the directors themselves. Um, we do have a couple of special um, awards that are particular that um, I will go ahead and talk about. Uh, Lander University um, is excited and honored to partner with the Mason Parish Foundation in honoring this award for a young filmmaker who demonstrates excellence in their craft and in their passion for filmmaking. Um, Mason Parrish is pictured here, and he's a young filmmaker who was age 10 diagnosed with, uh, sorry, <laughs> DIPG, which is diffuse intrinsic pontine uh, glioma, a rare and incurable brain tumor. Um, through our relationship with his father, Chris Parrish, who is a filmmaker as well, um, we, wanted to establish this and honor young filmmakers who are pursuing and undaunted in their love of filmmaking. And so this year's recipient for the Mason Parish Award for Excellence is Caitlin Ellison. Congratulations, Caitlin. Um, the next three awards are what we consider the best of the fest, and those are um, generalized um, awards for performance, screenplay, and um, best film of the festival. And so the best performance goes to Olivia Weeks for Business of Heartbreak. The best of the fest screenplay goes to Rupture. And the best film is Hair of the Dog. So congratulations winners. Um, I do apologize for the best of the fest trophies. They have not come in yet, so we are going to also get those to you at a later date. Um, and just want to say thank you all for taking time to come out tonight. 
send uh, um, support to the filmmakers and the people who have invested their time and efforts into producing this. Um, so I just, again, want to thank you all. Thanks to the team for making this year's festival possible. So I hope you all have a great night and have enjoyed your evening. So take care.